We're trying to bridge the gap and make the guests lei si chiama Ola Inca Fagmimiro, è responsabile scientifica della National Space Research and Development Agency della Nigeria ed è anche coordinatrice nazionale, sempre per la Nigeria, di Astronomers Without Borders, i medici senza frontiere dell'astronomia. L'ultimo progetto che sta seguendo è mirato al coinvolgimento nello studio delle materie scientifiche dei bambini e soprattutto delle bambine che vivono nei villaggi rurali del nord del paese. Le abbiamo chiesto per quali argomenti astronomici le sue giovani allieve mostrino maggiore interesse. Oh, 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 oh the solar system is amazing. Um, the solar system because in, in Nigeria, especially in the rural parts, we have a lot of myths surrounding the subject of astronomy like you know the hair clips um the blue moon and all of those stuff we have some um superstitions surrounding those um, events so what we try to do is we want to demystify those um event occurrences and let them know these are purely science one of the superstitions that that, that is very common in the rural um, areas um, is the one about solar system, um, eclipse, the event, solar eclipse, whether partial or total. There's a story. They say, okay, when that happens, it's because um, a lion or a tiger is fighting another tiger in the, in, in the, in the wild. You know, like you have, you have two big animals fighting and because the fight is so serious, everywhere goes dark during the day. So to them, when an eclipse occurs, it means a lion and a tiger are having a fight. So that's just one of the many you know, superstitions that, that, that we hear about there. And I think another one is, um, um, they say when you look into the moon, You know, in the night, the, the, the skies are really clear, so you could actually, you, you could actually see those craters with naked eyes. And then they begin to tell you um, the pictures, you know, they, they let them form these pictures in their head of either um, a guy on a, on a horse or um, some emperor somewhere, or, you know, just, fig, you know, trying to give meaning to all those formations on, on the moon crater, you know, those craters on the moon. So they have different stories about each of the pictures. So when we um, explain the science behind the scenes to them, it gets them really excited. So mostly looking at the statistics now, I think they are mostly interested in the solar system. And because, you know, in Africa, we don't have the problem of light pollutions. So, You could just step out your balcony at night and you look up and all you see are things that in some parts of the world you would need telescopes to, to see them. But there with your naked eye because there are no light pollution so they can see. So this is what they do day in day out. Like every night it's it's common thing to see children gathered outside the house in the evening at night and then view the sky and then you know just have fun. But then, there are a lot of superstitions, so where we came in is to let them know, okay, these things are science. You can explain everything you see, you know, through science, and, and, and that's what we've been doing.